Welcome to Excel for Economics. In this video, we'll be talking about simple commands. So in the workbook, workbook one, there are simple commands that we can do in Excel, like we can add numbers together. So we type the equal sign, and we select the cell that we want to add to another cell. So here we're adding A, column A, row eight, to column B, row eight. We can see that's two. Zero plus two is two. And we can do this all the way down to all of our cells. Now, an easier way to do this is to highlight cell that we've got the correct uh, equation in. And notice there's a little thick box at this bottom right corner. If we hover over it, it turns into the solid lick black uh, uh, cross, and then we can drag this all the way down. And what it'll do is it will fill the formula in that we have and move these references all the way down the cell references. So we're able to fill it in that way. A second way to fill, and a second thing we can do is subtraction. So we can take any, we can highlight the entire block. We can say this is equal to data one minus data two. And instead of just hitting enter, this time what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the control key and then hit enter. And this will fill this formula all the way down. And we can see this that in row 30. So here we're doing a control enter to fill a large block of space all at once. Another one that we can do is multiplying. So we take data one and I can arrow over and choose the ones, the cell that I want, rather than click with my mouse. And now I've got my multiplied zero times two is zero. And this time I can hold down my control key, hold down the control key and hit D. And this will fill in the equation that's above it. It's called fill down. And if we highlight all of these, all the green cells, and do control D, control D. This should work. There we go, we have to hover over the one that we're interested in. So here we've been able to fill all the way down. So in this last one, we can also divide numbers. We can make data one and divide it by data two. So simple math operations are pretty easy. We can also have powers or exponents. Okay, so these are also known as uh, powers. So here we can we can say that this is data one to the power, and we use a little chevron three, and now it's raised to the power of three. So two times two times two is eight. We have a minus sign, we have minus eight. We can also do roots of all different types. So we can say this is equal to our data one value raised to the power. And now we need one divided by three so that it does the, the parentheses before. And again, control enter to get all of that information in there. There's also the power function which is quite useful because now we can start introducing functions. So here we're going to say power, and this gives us a function. And now we can tell it which number we're interested in, data one, and what power, what exponent do we want this to be raised to? Well, in this case, we want three. Then we can say, okay. Now it didn't fill everything down because we didn't hit control. So if we just click, on the cell so it's active. You can see check mark, X marks, and so on. And now if we hold down control enter, it will uh, go all the way down. Uh, we could have also done a control D there. We can also raise things to other powers. So we can take data one and raise it to the power of whatever's in data two. And you can see that zero to the power of zero is unknown to it. Um, so the, 
the equal uh, Excel doesn't quite understand what to do when it's a zero to the power of zero. Uh, we can also take logarithms. Uh, if we choose log, then we can choose the base. If we choose ln, then that will be the natural log. And we can choose whatever number we have, close our parentheses, control enter. And here you can see that anytime it sees a zero or a negative number, it gives an error called exclamation known. Likewise, the exponent, so that's e to the power um, data one, and we get those as answers. And you can see that the number is when 10, uh, e to the power of 10 is quite large. We can also get rid of the uh, positive and negative signs by using the absolute value. So this returns the absolute value of our number. And here, we can take our data and again, control enter to fill the entire thing. And we can see that uh, something like here in row 21, we can see that the uh, entire uh, negative sign has been removed. So everything in this column is now positive. The last thing we can do with equations in or formulas in Excel is we can combine. So we could do five times the exponent of data one minus data two, which would be B8 raised to the power of three plus one divided by A8 plus B8 close parentheses. Control enter to fill the entire group and we can do large things at once. And here we can see that we end up with a zero divided by zero because that's our last part of our formula and another two minus two minus two is zero. So we get a divide by zero. Okay, so those are the simple commands uh, that you can use in uh, Excel. Okay, and we'll see you in the next video.